Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom GPT for a super shoe designer to create photorealistic 3D renderings, product photos, and any sort of image, Jordans right here to Adidas running shoes, or even Reebok cross trainers, you name it, from all sorts of different colors, brands, and models, specifically when it comes to Dali creating the actual wording and the logos on the shoe. For amazing prompt generators, click the link in the description. And what's even better is that this doesn't only work on shoes either. Once once I take you through the process and then show you these examples, follow it step by step, but you can actually use it for any sort of product you want. So we'll first take a look at some of these awesome photos and examples of what this GPT can create. And then after that, I'll show you the step by step process so you can create one of these shoe designers or product designer for any other thing that you want. Try this GPT for yourself. You can find the link in the description. So the first thing I want to do is just look at some of these images I made earlier today. You can see these two images on your screen right here. The symmetry is perfect. The shape, the structure, everything is perfect. Now again, this is made in ChatGPT via DALI. And then specifically when it comes to the wording and logos, now look at this one over here. The logo as far as the text for Reebok and then the way it was spelled, it got it perfectly. And then over here again, you could see a few more examples. So we have this Nike one right here and then I X this out and then you could see this black and yellow Jordan shoe. Perfect right here. Symmetry, everything's looking good. And then this one over here as far as this Adidas running shoe, the three stripes perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and then check out some of these in real time and I'll just show you very quickly how you can actually use this before I show you step by step on how to make something just like this. You can just start off by clicking any one of these options right here. It really doesn't matter what you click because it's going to ask you a series of questions to make sure it gets the design right for so you. So immediately it says let's start getting your design going. Brand name, color scheme, type of image. So brand name, I'm going to just put a uh, Nike Air Jordans. And then as far as the color scheme is concerned, let's do black, red, and uh, white, and then type of image, we'll do photorealistic. And sometimes it wants to make sure it's getting it exactly the way you want, and so after it's confirmation, sometimes put in the command, this is correct, please generate image. And then it'll get to work right away. And then there you have it right here, check this out, this got it pretty good. Now this sort of looks like a shoe I have actually right behind me. I mean, it's very similar to this shoe right here. The color scheme and the style is right, the Jumpman logo here on the tongue. If you compare the two, you could see it got it pretty much perfect. So everything looks 100% accurate. However, the only thing is that it did add this extra Nike logo and then this Nike swoosh right here. So what I found is that instead of putting Nike Air Jordans for the brand, just put Air Jordans, leave the Nike word out, and most times it will eliminate the swoosh and then the Nike. But let's try it one more time with a different sort of brand and style of a shoe. Now the shoe I have in mind would be a shoe just like this one right here. This would be an Adidas Ultra Boost shoe. All right, so we're back over here chat GPT and to be honest with you it got everything exactly right except only thing that I noticed is that the third stripe is black and then on the back it does have ultra boost it's pretty good so now the next thing I'll do is I'll come over here to my mega database and then see if I have any images for a shoe and then use something similar okay I have one right here and then I'll do the same thing okay very nice I like the way this looks I like the actual added touch of this camera right here so it's actually a photo of a photo shoot but again the impressiveness of it is the wording of Reebok spelled correctly correctly. Very good job. So now let me show you exactly how to make this. But first, I'll just kind of give you the details on how this was made. So I'll go to my edit GPT. These are the paraphrase instructions after I gave chat GPT everything. You can even use this and copy and paste it for yourself. Have fun. But that's not the most important part. So the most important part is down here at the bottom. And so I gave it a few different images to reference to use as a guide. So you can see I uploaded all these images down here. And then the other thing I did was I uploaded a PDF that contained prompts to use for this shoe design GPT. So it could also utilize and get examples of actual prompts. So the first thing we'll do is just we'll go to create GPT. So I just typed in a creative who creates photorealistic photos of shoes. You can start off with just something simple here. Okay, so then it just says, how about naming this photo shoe designer? That's cool. Let's just say um, that's good for now. So now what I'll do next is tell chat GPT that I'm going to upload a PDF of prompts that you can use for reference when generating your images utilizing Dolly. So go ahead and now hit enter. So the next step is to come on over here to Canva. This is where I like to generate everything. Open up a doc 
right here. You could see that there's four prompts that I'm giving ChatGPT to reference in generating these images for me. And I basically just scrolled through a lot of these different prompts. There's a lot of different styles and views that I could look in. And then I used these specific prompts for a shoe. You can also go to my blog, metricsmule.com slash blog. And I have about a thousand prompts all throughout these blogs right here. You can see neon Nike shoe, just copy and paste it. And then you would go back to a tool like Canva or anything else that you want to use. And then this is exactly where I pasted it. So once I have my doc created with just four prompts, I'll then just hit the share button and then hit the download button and then save it as a PDF standard. Now it's time to upload it. And then that's what we'll do. I'll click this attach button. Here is the PDF right here. Upload my PDF. And then I just typed in, here is my PDF of prompts to reference. Once I have this PDF uploaded, just for backup, then we're gonna go ahead and then give it a series of images to also use for reference as well. I'll type out the prompts for you to use as a reference. And I'll say, here are the prompts. After it confirms this, then I'll go ahead and then upload the actual images. Now I already have images, but what if I want some new and different ones. Let's go ahead and then create some. I'm going to head over to Leonardo AI and type in a few different prompts. Okay, so here's the first set that Leonardo AI made for us. Man, this looks fantastic right here. I'm already happy with the ones Leonardo AI did on these first two rows right here. So I have that one. And then here are my upscaled images right here. All what we'll do is come back over to ChatGPT and then now tell it I have photos I'm going to actually upload to use as reference to. I'm going to upload all these. So there's different choices and variations that it could use. So once we have it uploaded, let's go ahead and now hit enter. So we have all the images uploaded. It's going to confirm it by just basically showing you all of these right here. And so it does have all 10 of these uploaded and that's all you need to do. So now it has prompts to reference. It has images that you uploaded. Now what you can do is just go over to your configure button and then you can see everything that you gave it. So you can see it has the PDF that we gave it along with all of the images that we fed it. And then here are the instructions up here. So once that's done, you can do it we did earlier and then generate your shoe and your images perfectly. So let's go ahead and do that. I said design a futuristic Nike shoe with magenta black and white colors and let's just see what this pops up with for us. And then there you have it. That's exactly what it was looking for. Here is the image of a futuristic Nike shoe designed with the specific colors of magenta and black. Not bad. Take these steps that I showed you and follow them step by step and then you could do it for not only shoes but you can do it for shirts, for belts, purses, any sort of item, clothing, or product that you want. Just doing these simple steps steps by giving the details of what you want it to do, providing the different color schemes. Then the most important thing is actually uploading some sort of prompts it can use for reference as far as the images itself. So tell me what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.